Question 29 is, can I combine a heat pump with my existing heating system, but also leave the boiler in? And the answer is yes, we call this a hybrid or some people call it a bivalence system. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to your house and look at your system, typically in a very, very large houses where you've got a really, really big boiler. And instead of us taking the boiler out and replacing it with a heat pump or maybe two or three heat pumps if the house is really big, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dual fuel system. So much like a hybrid car, we're gonna have a renewable heating system, a heat pump, which is gonna tee up and connect up to your existing oil or gas or LPG fired boiler. The way it's gonna work is when the work is easier, so the, the heat pump is not gonna be big enough to do all the work, it's gonna be a little bit undersized, but what we're gonna do is when the weather is milder in the sort of autumn and the springtime, maybe early and, and late winter when the weather's not too cold, um, the heat pump is gonna heat the house nice and simply, so it's just gonna work as normal and the boiler will be idle. But when you get those really cold days and you're getting down towards sort of two, three degrees centigrade or colder, what we're gonna do is turn the heat pump off we're then gonna automatically fire the boiler just like you had before. So it's then gonna heat the same old radiators, the same old hot water cylinder, all to the temperature you always had with your boiler. So hybrid's a really, really clever solution to kind of not make you 100% renewable and move you into a 100% renewable heating system. But what they do is they get you a step towards being renewable. The advantage with them is that they are much, much cheaper to do. And I'd like to talk you through a particular example that I know very well. So my parents' house has a heat loss of 20 kilowatts, which means that we'd need two heat pumps to heat it. So first problem we have is we've got to find somewhere to put two heat pumps in the garden. Once we put two heat pumps in, we've then got to look at our heating system in the house. Now I happen to know that their heating system runs at very, very high temperatures, which are hard to do with heat pumps. So we'd actually have to look at addressing most of the radiator sizes in the house as well. And as discussed in many of the questions before, we'd probably have to change the hot water cylinder. The problem is when you look at those sort of jobs, two heat pumps could easily be costing you something like 20,000 pounds. Every radiator we change, there are 20 in that house, are gonna cost something of the order of 300 pounds a piece. So you're looking at something like 6,000 pounds for new radiators plus a cylinder. So you can see here that 25, 30,000 pounds for a heating system is obviously outside of the scope of most customers. But if I look back and say, well, let's not go fully renewable in this particular house, let's kind of go partially. So let's tee in a heat pump into that system. What we're gonna do is one heat pump, so much closer to something like 10,000 pounds. We're not gonna change the radiator size because when we really need them to be hot, the boiler will work. And we're not gonna change the hot water cylinder because the boiler is gonna continue doing hot water. So suddenly you've gone from the high 20,000 pounds for an installation down to a system of much closer to something like 10,000 pounds. It's not perfect, but it's significantly cheaper. But there is only one major drawback with hybrid or dual fuel systems. The new boiler grant or the boiler upgrade scheme, the bus as it's affectionately known, does not cover systems unless the boiler is removed and disposed of. So if you go hybrid, you do not get any grant from the government. Um, so the government don't support this type of system. I have no idea why. But that hybrid systems are a really good way, an introduction to heat pumps without you having to make that full commitment. And especially if you're concerned about the technology and you kind of want to try before you commit, hybrid might be a really, really good way to go.